I'm happy to have with me right now Dr. Felipe Sierra. He is the Director of the Division of Aging Biology at the National Institute on Aging. Thank you for being here, Doctor. All right, so let me ask you, geoscience is an emerging field. Can you tell me what that encompasses? So geoscience is trying to put together something that we have always known. Basically that aging is by far, um, I mean really by far, the major risk factor for all chronic diseases that affect the elderly population. What happens is that we used to think that aging was not something that we could manipulate. But we have seen in many, many animal models going all the way from yeast to mice and, and, and beyond that actually we can manipulate aging. We can find drugs that affect the longevity as well as the health span. So we think that aging is something that we can manipulate and if we do that, we can delay all of those diseases all at once as opposed to trying to cure cancer, cure cardiovascular disease, cure diabetes, none of which will have much of an impact in the population at large. One thing I always say is that we are uh, equal opportunity researchers because aging affects everybody. So doctor, why is this relationship between aging and age-related diseases the key to finding new ways to prevent, slow, and cure these diseases? If you think about how we address diseases at this point, we address one disease at a time, and we look at the risk factors and we try to address those. So you think about the major killer, cardiovascular disease. Cardiovascular disease kills a lot of people. Yeah, no question about it. What's the major risk factor? Cholesterol. So we develop statins. Wrong. The major risk factor by far is aging. So why don't we develop a statins against aging? Something that address not only cardiovascular disease, but also dementia and uh, Alzheimer's and sarcopenia and everything. Because aging is the major risk factor for all of them. So by addressing those, we, we can gain much more than by addressing one at a time. So what kind of impact do you hope to see from research? So the research that we have been funding through my division at DNIA has been really on the basic areas. And what we have been able to do was define something we call hallmarks or pillars of aging. It's a handful of biological processes that drive the whole process of aging. If we can uh, modify those with drugs or, or whatever we do to modify those very, very basic building blocks of why we age, we can now start thinking about ap applying that to humans, trying to uh, get the, the drugs or whatever we need. But for that, we need to do a lot of work still. We have to work with the FDA, try to convince them that aging is something that we can manipulate that we can address, and that's where we are at this point. Dr. Sierra, thank you so much for being here. It was nice having you.